In this video, I'm going to talk about why I decide to stop sharing my own company's Stripe screenshots, cash collected and revenue numbers. And if you actually apply what I'm going to share with you today and what I'm going to do with my business and how I'm going to run my company moving forward, it will literally guarantee that you solidify your spot in your industry and in your niche for the long term and you absolutely blow everybody else out of the water and there's no competition left. So stick with me. Let's get into it. Here's why I decided to stop sharing my Stripe screenshots. Obviously at the start, when I first started my online coaching business like a few months ago, I needed a case study. So I decided to be my own case study. I popped off, did like 50 bands in like five weeks, got a bunch of clients. They're all literally crushing it right now. Like the wins channel's popping off. There's like, I don't, I don't have many clients in there compared to other communities and programs I've been in, but literally get more wins than all of them. And just over the last weekend, I hosted a mastermind with a bunch of people too. And they were looking at my uh, Slack channel, the wins channel. They're like, bro, how? That's what I'm going to share with you, like kind of how I've been able to do that, right? But yeah, like I said, obviously at the start, like I had to do something. I had to get a case study, but something inside just kind of felt, it was like very, like not genuine. It was very like, I don't know, like sharing my own numbers and stuff like that on social media. Like it, it feels, it feels like I'm, I'm like bragging or boasting for some reason. And I, I really don't like that. It's like misaligned with how I want to run my company and the vision that I have for it as well. And I'll get into the specifics of like exactly why and how I've seen other people that do this, like drive themselves into the ground and almost destroy their businesses. So I'll show you kind of how to prevent that too. On the one hand, it kind of attracts the wrong type of people too, right? Because if you're just posting your, your screenshots and stuff like that, people are going to think it's, it's easy. It's easy to do that. It doesn't require too much work, right? So you're going to attract those people who are just looking for kind of a, an easy way out, right? A free pass. And they're going to, yeah, they might join your program. You might get some cash, but they're not going to get the results that they want because they're not going to actually do the work because they think it's going to be way too easy. And then your client success rate goes down, the quality of your community goes down and it just sucks because now you just wasted a ton of time. You don't get a case study out of them. They just wasted a bunch of money and time and now they're not happy and they might go talk poorly about you to other people and then your reputation goes down, right? So it's just like a lose-lose in that scenario. However, here's like kind of the, the real kind of meat and potatoes that really drove this decision home for me. It's, the com it's like the balance between short-term and long-term thinking right? So what I've seen a lot of coaches do that have literally kind of drove themselves in the ground is they optimize for the short term and they sacrifice the long term. All they're thinking about is how can I make more sales right now so I can get a, a bigger Stripe screenshot to share at the end of the month. That's all they care about, right? All they care about is cash collected revenue, like numbers, Stripe screen, screenshots, and just so heavily focused on sales and marketing. They got a shitty product. Their clients fucking hate them. They tell everyone else how bad it is and no one gets results. And that pisses me off because on the surface, they preach how like they're so client focused and all this other bullshit. But then on the other end, on the back end, their clients hate them because they're, they're not focused on their clients. They're focused on just making more sales, right? Like, let's say you have like a funnel and, or like a, a hose or something like that, right? And there's a ton of holes in it and you pour a bunch of water in. Well, you're, you're gonna have water coming out of all the holes, right? The funnel's not gonna work very well. You're gonna lose a ton of water and it's not gonna be efficient or effective. It's the same kind of thing. If your offer sucks, if your program sucks and your clients hate you, pouring more clients through the top of it is not gonna do anything. It's gonna damage your reputation. People are gonna talk shit about you over the time or like over the long term, and you're not gonna be around for very long. You can be a great marketer if you want and that might get you so far but you're going to stay stuck and plateau and probably decline. Like I've seen a lot of people do. I don't know, that, that's why I really just don't like the idea of sharing that because what that does is it traps you in that short-term monthly cycle of like, I need more sales right now, right? I need to make more sales than last month. And then you're, you're, you're making your decisions based on the short-term, based on how can I make the most money this month rather than what can I do for my clients that will solidify my reputation and put me miles ahead of my competition three years from now. Nobody's thinking like this. That's why nobody's making that much money, right? But the ones who are have the best products, the best client experience and the highest client success rates. It's not a coincidence. The reason for me pulling back and not sharing my numbers publicly anymore is because I want to build the best client experience in this game. I want to take a step back from marketing and sales. I'm not pushing it that hard right now. I'm not scaling my ads. I haven't increased my ad spend budget in the last two months because it's working. 
I'm paying my bills and like, guys, trust me, I I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Uh, <laughs> I just rented a mansion for the weekend and had a bunch of clients fly out. Um, but, uh, you know, I was traveling around for the last two weeks and made more money in those two weeks than I ha ever have in another two week period. Um, so, so trust me when I say I'm, I'm doing okay, but I want to take that step back and give my back end, my client experience, my product, the focus, the energy, the intensity that it needs right now to really just expedite and like just maximize the client results. Like, like I said before, client results are not a problem right now. They're actually pretty insane, which blows my mind. It makes me super happy and fulfilled inside when I wake up and I see another win literally every day in the wins channel. It's crazy. Um, but nonetheless, like deep down, I know what's possible. And I know the potential of it. And because I'm like right now, full transparency, I'm offering a lot of one-to-one -one with my clients right now. So if you get in early, like don't wait because I won't be doing that forever because it's not scalable, right? As I build up the program, the back end. That's going to allow me to kind of remove myself a little bit and just have a better client experience that's just way more streamlined, takes less time for me and helps them get better results a lot quicker too, because then they're not dependent on me to actually be there for them, like on calls one to one. Yeah, pretty much like at the end of the day, what this is doing is it's holding me accountable because now the thing that's going to sell for me is my client results, not my own results. What this does is it shifts my focus away from my results and just sales, sales, sales to like client results and like delivery over delivering, building the best damn product in the world. That's all I have to flex. Like I'm a really good marketer and really good at sales. I can make a lot of sales if I wanted to, right? And just like share my own screenshots. However, that's that's short term thinking, right? Like I'm, I'm chilling. I don't need to spend that much money. Um, obviously I'm building a team and still ripping ads, but I don't need a ton of cash in the short term. I'd rather build the foundation so it's just rock solid my client results and the client experience is just undeniable. And there's no question about it because that's what's going to separate me from everybody else two to five years from now. There won't be any other options because I'm kind of sacrificing the short term now to just like fucking blow past everybody in the next couple of years. You know, it's like that's worth it way more to me. I think that just makes a lot more sense because like your word of mouth and the, the reputation that you have from your happy customers, most of them are going to be very happy right? If, if you have a really good experience, but that's going to just exponentially skyrocket you because now like you don't have to pay for new customers. When you get a customer, they pay you and then they're happy. They succeed. Then they tell their friends and they come to you. You don't even have to sell them. They're already pre-sold and you just sign them up and enroll them. That's the beauty of it. The beauty of like just exceptional client results is you don't have to sell. Like in <laughs> last month, my closing rate was well over 50%. Well, and here's the thing. My closing rate was well over 50%, not because I'm good at sales. I don't really get objections because the client results sell for me. I don't have to sell. I don't like selling. If someone wants to join. I don't want to force you to join. I want you to be like, okay, yeah, I hate where I'm at. I know I need to run ads and hire a setter and kind of build an actual business to get to that next level, right? Like if you're stuck at like five to 20K a month, and you're plateauing there. It's like, well, yeah, no shit. You got to do something different to get to that next level. And that's exactly what it is. By focusing on the back end, the client results, that's just going to just exponentially blow up word of mouth over time. And if you can take this and apply that in your own business as well, then that's what's going to separate you from everybody else as well. Ask yourself, do you want to be sending the same amount of cold DMs or even more two years from now? Or would you rather just have your calendar packed every single day from people coming to you because you're the best damn person in your industry? Ask yourself. Like pause the video right now. Ask yourself, what would you rather do? I know what I'd rather do. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. When you optimize, it's kind of backwards too. When you optimize for the back end, potential, the non-prospect facing side, but like your client facing side, it's like you've already sold them. So most people think the sale's done then. But like you got to continue to sell your current customers by getting them bought in. And what that's going to do is get going to get them to tell everybody else. It's going to get them to have insane case studies that you can leverage in your marketing and client interviews, screenshots of their wins and their results. And then that's going to propel you just miles ahead of everybody else. Right? So like one of the things that I'm doing right now, this week, I literally hired a new team member to help me kind of restructure the entire backend delivery and client experience of my program right now, because over the, the mastermind that I hosted over the weekend, like my mind kind of blew. I was like, 
holy cow, like there's actually a lot more I could be doing. To kind of say this humbly, it's like my, my client results are fucking insane right now. I'm sorry for swearing, but like they're in absolutely insane. The amount that is coming out compared to like the small amount of people that are actually in there that I'm actually working with. And that blows my mind, which is kind of crazy. Like it's a super cool feeling. And I hope everybody watching this feels that one day because there's no other dopamine hit like that. When you see your client wins channel just blowing up. Hired a new team member. We're going to be completely restructuring the back end. Once that's done, it's going to be nearly impossible for someone to not get results. I want it to be so damn simple that I could like my dog could pay my invoice, go through my course, go through my program, work with myself and my team members and get the results that my dog wants in their coaching business. I want a monkey to be able to go through it and get results. You know, it's like, that's what I'm working on this month. I don't really care if I make any sales this month. I don't care because I've got cash in the bank. I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm still going to because like a lot of most of my sales right now are just inbound anyways, because like nobody else is really doing what I'm doing. Everyone else out there kind of sucks. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, so like that's just really gonna set me apart from everybody else. Once I am finished building this over the next probably like two weeks, obviously prices are gonna increase. The value just skyrocketed and my team's gonna expand too. So I'm gonna bring on more help for the back end and client results are just gonna go exponential. It's gonna be literally almost impossible to fail to not get results if you just do the things, do the action steps lined up in the program. It's, I don't know, it, it kinda, it's a weird feeling. It feels like I'm on the verge of like checkmate. You know, it's like, I'm so close to just like get the best product out there, the best client results and client success rate. Now I just need more people to know who I am and to watch my stuff. It's, it's kind of scary, but like for the first time ever, like 100K months don't seem far off at all. They're inevitable. And I know that if I just do what I'm going to be doing over the next couple months, that will happen a lot sooner than I might think. So I don't know, maybe I'll share results when I hit my first 100K month. That'll be a big milestone, no doubt. But until then, you probably won't be seeing much of my own numbers because I don't want to be stuck in that cycle, optimizing for the short term. There's no pressure for me to share my Stripe screenshots or how much money I made. So I can actually take a breath, work on the back end and not have any pressure because I don't feel like I'm letting myself down. My identity is not tied to my business success in terms of cash and revenue. It's like it's tied to building the best product, the best client experience and actually having my clients love me. Like that's what I want, you know, because if somebody pays me money, I owe them. I better damn do whatever the hell I got to do to over deliver and get them the best results I possibly can, because that's the most important thing, right? They're trusting me. I better show up and do what they expect of me and give them what they expect of me as well. Because if I don't, what the hell am I doing? You know? What am I here for? Just wasting everyone's time, myself included, right? And that kind of pissed me off. But yeah, that said, I'm going to end it here. I've ranted enough, sworn enough. If you thought this video was good, um, let me know down below in the comments. Hit the like button. I really appreciate it. If you actually want to get results in your business, if you're stuck around like 5 to 20K, give or take on either side, basically you're good at what you coach on. Maybe you're making content already. Maybe you're not, but you want to. You know how to sell got some happy clients already, but you just need more people to sell to. Here's an offer. If you want to contribute to my short-term success, my short-term wins, so I won't share a screenshot of the Stripe account, then book in a call down below. Let's have a chat. I can help you solve your problems, hopefully, and scale your business. So that's it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you're watching my channel, I appreciate you. I love you. See you guys in the next video. Later.